everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Okay, as you can see, we got a nice sunny day here in Vancouver, Canada, and uh, it's been raining, terrible weather, but today, finally, a sunny day, so it's time to work on the 2003 Crown Victoria. Now, in a previous video, I sort of talked about this car, and it's in pretty bad shape, there's no doubt about it. And uh, one of the things that's in bad shape is the steering. The problem is kind of hard to describe, but basically, as you turn the steering wheel, you feel varying amounts of resistance. And also, the wheel doesn't like to return back to center after you let go of it. It's a very disconcerting feeling. The steering wheel still turn, but you have to use various amounts of effort to turn the steering wheel. That's something that you definitely do not want. So in my exhaustive search of uh, YouTube and of the forums about similar problems, uh, it could be one of two things, I believe. It could be the rack and pinion, which is gone, uh, and that's known to go on the 2003s or any Crown Vic, actually. Or it could be the intermediate steering shaft. All right, let's have a look at what I'm talking about here. Right down, go down, 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 down. That shaft right there, that is the intermediate steering shaft. It is the connection between the column that runs up to your steering wheel this way and the rack and pinion right there. So you have the shaft and then right here, if you can see, you have a very complicated looking, strange looking joint. And let's zoom in. Do you see how rusty that is? That, oh, there we go. That is like so rusty. That is so bad that I think that it is binding as I turn the steering wheel. So today I intend to replace that shaft. It might be possible to grease up that joint and that might free it up a bit, but I think a better choice is to simply replace it, especially since the intermediate shaft is not that expensive. And as a matter of fact, I have already ordered and received an intermediate shaft and I'll uh, I'll put a link below where you can get this at a very reasonable price this is my new intermediate shaft Voila, intermediate shaft that is an intermediate shaft okay the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna lubricate the two bolts, one right there, and one right up here. Where are you? There you are. Okay. You can see how I have got the 10 mil bolt at the bottom where it goes into the rack and pinion. I've got that loose. I have got that loose. So I'm going to loosen that one off completely and then work on the one at the top here. Okay, I've got the top bolt loosened. It's a four, no, sorry, it's a 13 millimeter bolt and it has come loose. So I'm going to continue to take out both these bolts and then the next problem will be to get the intermediate shaft loose. Okay, I've got the top bolt off, and before I go any further, what I want to do is, because once the intermediate shaft is out, the steering wheel will be able to move, keep moving, and you don't want that, because there's something called a clock spring inside. It's what allows you to have electrical contact to your horn and different things without using wires and it will get out of adjustment and it'll cause you all sorts of trouble if this goes too far. So the way to stop that once the intermediate shaft is out is to, I don't know, we'll just use a seat belt here. We're gonna put it through. We're gonna put it through here and buckle it and that will prevent the steering from going too far. Okay, just like that. So, It'll still allow it to move, but not too far. Make sure you do that. 
Okay, now that the two pinch bolts are out, I'm, I'm gonna go underneath the car and try to pry out the intermediate shaft. Okay, there's the intermediate shaft. We've gotta pry it out of the steering box right there. It's pretty, it's pretty crowded down here. But as you can maybe see, I have loosened off the steering shaft with the help of my tie rod splitter. And also make a note of the exact orientation of your uh, intermediate steering shaft because if you put it in upside down, you're, you're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> the top is already loose, it's gonna come straight out and there we go. There is the intermediate shaft out. Okay, so now you can see the difference between the new intermediate shaft and the old one. The new one moves easily in all directions. The old one, oh man, I can't move that. I think this is my problem. This is what's causing, I believe, the stiffness in the steering. This is completely rusted, completely rusted, and so the new shaft should take care of the problem. Now. Putting it back in should be fairly easy. I'm gonna clean these bolts and reuse the bolts. They're a little rusty, so I'm gonna reuse them and clean them. And I'm also gonna clean the mounting points for the intermediate shaft inside there as well. And uh, just to make sure everything slides on nice and easy, this job is almost done. I've cleaned the shaft. So I've cleaned the coupling for the upper shaft. And now I'm just trying to get it inserted. I'm gonna do insert the top first and then the bottom. This one's kind of tight, so I'm using a little persuasion. Just lightly, it's going in. It's going in. Okay, as you can see, I've got the 13 mil bolt, pinch bolt installed. It's not yet tightened. So the top part of the shaft is installed. Now I have to do the bottom part. And again, I have to make sure the orientation is correct. And then maybe I'll try and do that from below. It might be easier. So the intermediate shaft is in at my 13 mil bolt right there. And over here, I've got my 10 mil bolt in, but neither one is tightened up. You should tighten these two bolts to 25 foot pounds each. Okay, the intermediate steering shaft is in. Now for the test. Now for the test. All right, so now for the test. Engine's running. Oh yeah, easy. Oh yeah. No stiffness at all. It's gone. That was the problem. Yes. All right, so there you have it. The intermediate shaft is installed. And uh, the main reason why I did this video, because uh, there are other videos that show the process in a bit more detail than I could have, is to let you know that if you do have a steering problem, like the stiffness in the steering, while it could be the rack and pinion, it's a good chance it's the intermediate shaft. And that is cheap. I think I paid, did I pay under 50 US dollars for that intermediate shaft? And you might be able to find it even cheaper, but anyway, I'll put the link below. So that is a cheap and as you can see, fairly easy way to solve the problem. My steering is perfect now. And to prove I did the work myself, you can see my hands. Look at the cuts. I even gave some blood. All right, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.